guys, today we're going to be looking at an operating system for the Raspberry Pi. So, this operating system works for the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and 4, but I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gigabyte model. And so, all of the links to this will be in the description. You can just get it from there. So, you uh, just go to this website, go to this download button, and you can just start the download from here. Okay, so while that's downloading, we need to grab Balena Etcher to flash the image to the SD card. You can just get it from here and set it up like a normal app for Windows. And we also need the SD card formatter. If you have anything on your SD card, you can just come down here, click Accept, and download it. Okay, so now, once we have everything downloaded, we should open up, we need to open up Balena Etcher. Okay, now we're going to go flash from file, and we're going to go pick Windows FX, and it might say possible image detected, Windows image, just click continue, and uh, make sure to choose your SD card, and then click flash, and wait for it to finish. Okay, so when you get here, it means you your flash is complete. So now I want to overclock it so it will run better. But you should only overclock if you have some type of cooling for your Pi. But when you finish this, it um, ejects your SD card. So just take out your SD card and put, push it back in. Yeah, so you see now, um, so if I open up File Explorer, here's Boot, and if I go down to Config, and right here, just under Disable Overscan, I'm just going to copy and paste this, so you can get this from the... You can get this from the description, so now I'm just going to go File, Save... And then I'm going to close it, close it, and now I'm going to put the SD card in my Pi and boot it up. Okay, so I booted it up, and it came to this screen. It might take a few minutes, but don't worry. And the password is admin. And so this will take a few minutes to load up. So just wait. Okay, now let's load it up. It says, Welcome to Windows FX. So I have Ethernet put in. That's why it shows the IP address. And I'm going to use English language. Use US keyboard next. And you need to type in a new password here. So you can do whatever password you want. I'm just going to say next. And if, if there's a black border on your screen, you should click this but mine doesn't so I'm not gonna press anything and I'm not gonna connect to Wi-Fi because I have Ethernet and I'm gonna just skip I'm gonna click done so now we have it all running see it, it's Ubuntu but it looks like Windows so we can go to file manager see it looks just like Windows you can go to downloads there's nothing there um, we have this little Windows icon here and we have web browser Firefox, we have system settings, but it looks like control panel, we have terminal, then we have and accessories, we have all these apps, for um, video, we have Kodi, we have VLC, um, so we can go to terminal, just like a normal Linux terminal, um, let's, we can look at some YouTube videos now, see how they play.
Plus, you can add these things called applets here that can show different things. So I can do a CPU monitor and I can add it and it shows how much of the CPU I'm using. You can add different ones, however, whatever ones you want. So just type in YouTube. Open up YouTube. It's going a little slow right now. I don't know. So, see, YouTube plays. You can... It works well. You can also just type in Amazon. Hmm. Here, Amazon now. We got Amazon. So, it works fine. We also have this little Cortana thing. So if you have a microphone, you can set this up and it will work just like Cortana, like a voice assistant. Yeah. So, and we also got this software installer and you can, it's the Snap Store actually, but you can install different apps from here. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my video and I hope you subscribe.